That's right, Carl. In a case where it's hard to predict what's next, no one saw this coming. A juror in the Elizabeth Holmes trial excused after telling the judge that she's a Buddhist and her beliefs require forgiveness. This juror was extremely upset in court. She told the judge while holding back tears and in a shaky voice that she thinks about Holmes's possible punishment every single day. Now we're five weeks into this trial and this juror told the judge that she would have a guilty conscience if she voted to convict Elizabeth Holmes. The juror was dismissed. She was replaced with an alternate juror, but the alternate juror expressed similar concern. She walked into the courtroom, said that English is her second language. She pointed to Elizabeth Holmes, said she's so young, this is her future, and I could make a mistake. She said, frankly, I'm not 100% certain I'm ready to participate in a trial like this. That juror was persuaded to stay in the trial, but really, guys, all of this shakeup just raises the question, is Elizabeth Holmes a sympathetic character, even while she's sitting in the courtroom not saying a word? Uh, Yasmin, what is the significance, you think, of that second dismissal? This shakeup leaves three alternates on this jury bench for a trial that's supposed to last until December. Losing too many alternates runs the risk of a mistrial. I've been speaking to legal analysts who say they've actually never heard of something like this before, but that they're not surprised when it comes to this case. Elizabeth Holmes was this mesmerizing American character who wooed politicians and business figures, world leaders. So guys, why can't she do the same with jurors?